Hello guys, welcome to Back of the Grid episode 3. We're in China. And as you can see, I'm back of the grid. Number 24. Lewis Hamilton. And Jensen Button putting it on pole position. Um nothing too interesting here. You see Raikkonen in 10. Vettel 4. Well, Seems legit. Okay, so I'm going to quickly run through my setup, tire strategy, fuel strategy, and all that bullshit. If you're interested, and Shanghai International Circuit into the McLaren garage, and we're going to look at our screen right here and check out aerodynamics 1 1 as usual. Is very aggressive as I've said earlier, but yeah. And I took the camber rear to a little bit more out because of the tire wear. You get a little bit of additional tire wear on the rear wheels if you have a low. If if the camber rear is in, all the way in. Um, so saving the rear tires a little bit because I tend to spin them. Uh, yeah, nothing too too interesting, I guess. We're going to start on the brand tires. Going to pit for lap eight. Go normal fuel strategy, and we are good to go. Complete, ready. So you can check out the other back of the grid videos on my channel. Probably be a link on screen. And be sure to check out the other other videos I have on my channel. If you if you enjoy this video, you'll definitely join enjoy sorry enjoy the other videos as well. But the HRT cars, wow. Okay, should I save fuel now? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Oh, I hate this first corner. Especially from the start. I always tend to crush out people. Look, going way too high speed. Wow. And now, this next corner coming up. It's always panic breaking, so we got to be ready. Yeah. You get what I mean. Of course I wasn't ready for it. We made it to 18th now. Panic breaking again. Come on. Come on the outside, inside now. Wow. Locking. Behind the rest that wow. There you go. I know I take an awkward line through this corner, but I don't tend to be able to drive properly if I take the. Ooh, tapping. Take the uh, proper racing line. I don't seem to be able. Oh, breaking way too late. Ooh. Still made it though. Ah, oh, hate this corner as well, especially if if I have low downforce. No. Wow. Do he run that low high downforce? If he couldn't overtake me. Oh, what the heck? Okay. No, I'm not going to go intermediate. That was just a misclick from my part. I'm going to do the options. Of course. It's very hard to outbreak someone when you're running this low down for setup, but you will easily get past them on the straight, so so it's kind of a 
dilemma that you have to deal with yourself. Find what what suits you the best. Do you break really late, or are you good at having good exits and then enable for greater top speeds with a low low wing? And are you able to handle a car with that low downforce? Because it's way trickier. Come on, full bar occurs. Come on, behind Senna. Woohoo! And Schumacher can't stand a chance. Wow. And wow, way better, but still not good. Damn, I hate this track. Or I don't hate it, but still it's hard. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but uh, for this Back of the Grid series, I won't do Monaco and Singapore because of the horrible, horrible overtaking opportunities on those tracks. And, I mean, you can't run 1-1 one -one wings in Monaco, that's just not possible. And at least, for me... So I won't do Singapore and Monaco and maybe some other tracks, but I'm not sure yet. But... We'll take... I think I'll do most, most of the other tracks. Or I will do the whole season. Woo! Locking! I will do the whole season uh, except for Monaco, Singapore, at least. I'm not sure about any other. Saving a little bit of curse. Should have been saving more for the next straight coming up. But I can't pass him now. Ooh! Going for the inside! Corner cutting a little bit. I think we're through. Yes, we are. These tires are locking up. Probably move, or move the brake balance a little bit more to the rear. For... Woo! Horrible line through that corner now. Usually that's where I gain the most time on this track. Probably with you guys too, because the AI is really slow. Woohoo! What the heck are you doing? Come on, go Rich Mix now. Oh, really? Fast through there. Damn it. Lost a lot of time there. Wow, I can see we're already on the primes. Whew. Not good. Absolutely not good. And we're on nine. We should be a little bit higher, in my opinion, but. We'll see. And what destroyed our last episode, pretty much, was a really slow pit stop with... Was it... I think it was, was over 10 seconds. I got stuck in traffic in the pits. So I definitely don't want that to happen. And if I had a 5 second pit stop, which still is quite a lot, but still half the amount that I had... I would have won the race because I was like three seconds behind Alonso and, and, uh, and uh, over the finish line. So if I had those seconds, I could have probably made it. But still, Kobayashi's next, and then 
it's Perez, so it's double Saba. Should be an easy overtake now. Because I'm so close to them. Kobayashi losing us some time. Just a little bit of curse. Going rich mix. And come on. Yep, there we go. Didn't use. Oh no, oh no. Breaking way too late. Woo! I got it. Wow, that's awesome. Can we do Perez as well? Need a good exit. No, no, no. Way too much curve. Should have gotten. Damn it. Yep, got Perez as well. Putting in the fastest lap on prime tires. Should be a pretty easy deal. Finishing first, but the race still ain't done. Do you find these long videos boring to watch because, well, it uh, is taking, well, if you, th if I think of myself, I, uh, I tend to not watch the whole length of these long videos, half an hour videos, and I completely understand that people don't want to watch them because they don't have time. So what I do is I go at school. And I'll watch the videos at school and just making in class, you know, just to try and make the time go a little bit faster. Getting Maldonado now. Yep, we're past. He's probably pitting now as well. Yes, he is. Damn it. I hate that corner. Woo! Running deep. Should have picked the inside line there. But, unfortunately, I did my braking way too late. So. The car ahead is running the option tyre. We may have trouble closing the gap during this stint. Oh. So, we have... One more lap to go for getting into the pits. We're in third at the moment. We can see the the lead. Looks like they're having a little bit of a fight there. Is it Weber and who's in front? I don't know. Wow. Going all in on the Kurs. Perez is behind us. He's probably been for a long time though. Just haven't noticed him. So, the rest of the cars are going into pits. Well, I stay out for one more lap, going to the rich mix now. No need to save fuel now, because you really want to jump as many places as you can in pit strategy. Ooh. Horrible corner once again. Really. It's probably very, very low downforce that I use, because you kind of feel that the car is sliding a little bit more. Oh, holy smokes. Yep. How much is the gap? 18 seconds. Is that enough for a pit? I don't think so. I think the pits 
I got like 20 seconds here. I'm not, I'm not sure, but hopefully it's less. But we, we'll see. It says that we're going to rejoin in fourth, fourth to six. Third to six, four, three. Come on. I want to rejoin him first, but that's probably too much to ask. Awkward pit entry here. I think because I tend to lock up and smash into the wall or end in the gravel. So a pit stop now should be fast with no traffic in the pits whatsoever. And 3.4! Really good compared to what we had last race. Ooh, oh, there is Jensen. Double McLaren in front. Wow, this should be an easy one. We still got five laps left. And three laps of rich mix. Probably just turn the rich mix now though. Even though I don't have warmed up tires. But we got a lot of fuel to waste, so just let's do it. And two seconds, three seconds down to Alonso now. Should increase by because I have the options, no, not if I drive like this, but, but still. Can we get DRS and Jensen now? No, we can't. Lost it right there. We can get close, hopefully. No way, this is going to work. Need to be driving better than this. Point eight seconds should decrease by this corner. We'll see at the next checkpoint. Oh, got just up his gearbox here. Going to the inside and an easy overtake. I mean, it's way too easy. He should have been fighting back. That's one of the things I think Codemasters should really change to 2013 a little bit more aggressive AI and a horrible line into this corner horrible line I hate these two corners by the way I mean I just can't seem to drive a proper line through there and Jensen is going to have DRS on us most likely Yes, he is. <coughs> oh, sorry. Damn it! Ain't driving properly. Ah, oh, he's going to have a hard time overtaking us. Yeah. He don't stand a chance when I got 1-1 one, one wings, because then I almost have DRS speed without the DRS, so... That's cool. building a little bit of a gap now I think 1.1 so I've gained 0 0.6 seconds fastest lap once again lap 11 out of 14 
almost hitting the grass. Oh man. A lot of complaining from me in this video. That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay, past it from now. We think the car behind is running on full revs. He's trying to close the gap. 2.3 seconds. Woohoo! That's that's cool. Wow, an easy win now. That's awesome. All the way from the back, all in difficulty. Expert, expert driving difficulty, I guess. I can show you guys any second. Well, you probably believe me. I got no reason for lying about that. I'm always driving without assists and the only thing that I have on that's not supposed to be on legend no sorry on on expert driving difficulty is extra flashbacks because you're supposed to have zero flashbacks but I have four just because we might get ridiculous penalties and then I don't want to restart the race, I'll just use a flashback. I'll be my own FIA, I guess. Ooh, almost losing it. Wow, we're building this gap. Pretty decent. 4.6 seconds. Wow. All the way up with the curves, and we're almost lapping a car now. One of the Marushas, isn't it? I think it is. may actually be Toro Rosso, but usually they ain't that far behind. 35.8. We're putting up decent laps now. Ooh, losing it. Gearing down too much. Oh, it was Glock. Not a Toro Rosso. Thanks. Two laps left and more than enough fuel to finish in Rick's mode that rich mode I think. My gosh. You can probably tell from my English that I'm not from England or any English speaking country. So I'm I'm sorry about that. I'm working on it, but still, no one's perfect. <laughs> Ooh. Bring the car home. Only a couple of laps to go. The tire wear is pretty good at this track, so you can can probably finish a hundred percent race on this track with two sets of tires one prime and one option set but you gotta be careful though last lap one lap of rich mix so it will be rich mix for the rest damn i can feel the rear tires locking up when i'm gearing down too fast Yes, I am using manual shifting. I'm using a steering wheel. It's a. Um, uh, I'm actually not sure what it is, but it's a Ferrari something. I'll check it out and let you guys know if you're interested.
Oh, we could have pit stop and still be number six. I call that decent driving. But, I know about you guys. Can't you answer? What do you think about my driving? In the comments. And if anyone would time, just send me a message on YouTube, please. Not, not on Xbox, because usually I don't play as much online. I because I don't have time so the only time or the only wow no wow damn I didn't use my curse well anyway but the only time I have for playing playing Formula One I'm using it to do this series so I don't have a lot of time so if you wanna race me please just leave a YouTube message and I'll see what I can do Great. Finishing number one, 10 seconds ahead of second place, Jensen Button. Pretty easy win, I would say. Um, yeah, I really didn't have anything more to say. Just be sure to check out the series from... Or the past episodes of the series, and... Yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.